Hello everyone, welcome back to John and Myla. On today's episode, we'll be doing baked sushi. I know it sounds weird, but it's a combination that actually works. Here are the ingredients you will need for this recipe. For the sushi rice, you only need three ingredients. The sushi vinegar, water, and Japanese rice. Next, we'll have the ingredients for the kani mix. Here are what I've used for this recipe. And lastly, the toppings. Here are some of the toppings that I've used for this recipe. And remember, don't forget your nori sheets. So what you want to do is cook the rice first. But before cooking the rice, there's a crucial step. What you want to do is soak the rice in water. Room temperature is fine for at least 30 minutes. While the rice is soaking, you can move on to the carne mix prep preparation. Here you see I'm dicing some celery and then next some onion which I'll be mixing them with the crab stick. Next, using a fork, shred the crab sticks. Once it's soaked, drain off the excess water and add in 360 ml of water. While your rice is cooking, move on to the carne mix. For this recipe, my carne mix, I use onion, celery, mayonnaise, sour cream, sriracha, and toasted sesame seeds. It's almost like a coleslaw, but instead of lettuce or cabbage, we use the crab steak. And then mix well, and it's ready to use. You can also add half a lemon juice to brighten up the carne mix. Once the rice is cooked, remove them into a bowl and you can start adding the sushi vinegar gradually into the rice. Mix them well and the rice is ready to use. Before you assemble, preheat your oven at 200 degrees, broiler setting. Next, you can assemble right away while the rice is hot. Uh, preferably you use a rectangular rectangular and then tap it down gently before adding in the furakake. Next you want to put your kani mix, spread them evenly as even as you can and of course slightly you know push it down gently and then if you got extra crab legs you can just add them on top and then we'll finish off with nori flakes sesame seeds and do that old school crisscross mayonnaise and sriracha if you like a bit of spicy kick Pop it in the oven for 5 to 7 minutes. If you like, you can add some tobiko on the baked sushi before you serve. Just pick it up. Slap it on a nori sheet and there you go. There you have your baked sushi. Once again, thank you for watching. If you like this recipe, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. See you next week.